sometimes when I print off a spreadsheet, my margins aren't right. In other words, maybe the data in the spreadsheet's a little bit too far to the left and I want to offset it and I want to center it more or just give it a little bit more space either up the top margin at the bottom or to the right. To set up your margins or to change them here, you can come up to the Page Layout tab, go to the Page Setup group, and then click on its expandable dialog box button. Now I know what you're thinking, you've got the margins right here, right? That's fine. But when I click on this button right here, I can come to the Margins tab and make the changes, click Cancel, or click on the Margins arrow and choose some defaults like what Excel defines as normal. If it defines as being wide or narrow, you can still go to Custom Margins, which is the same thing. It pulls us to the same screen. So you can see I still have some margin over to the right hand side here. Maybe for the left margin I want it at 1.75 and then when I hit the tab key you can see it updates it here and I tab over to the right and it shows my right margin here. When I come into the left it shows the left margin side here and maybe I can increase that here quite a bit, right? And then hit the tab key. And then if I want to see what it looks like having about three inches on the left margin I can click on print preview. Wow that really pushes it over doesn't it? So that's not looking too good for me so I'm going to go Within Print Preview, I can go back to the page setup, and it takes me to the margins here. Or I can click Cancel, Close Out, and start all over again. And you can see that in the margin, you see how that pushes it over so far that actually the page break is right here? Because my margins aren't set up correctly, it's breaking it way too early. I would like it broken over here. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and back to the page setup here, the expandable dialog box, click on the margins, and then maybe set this back to 0.75 and then go ahead and click OK. And then you can see that I'm not breaking twice. Not early right here, and not again later, but right now it breaks once, and that's between J and K. So everything right here will fit on one page. Of course, when I get down far enough, it has to break somewhere, so it, it's sectioned below that the new page breaks. So this will fit on page 2. At least it's not being cut off early on column H here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Home. Another thing you can do is you can go to the Print Preview button, Click on the Office logo, come down to Print, and go to Print Preview. They have a little box up at the top that you can check, Show Margins. When you check it, this is where you can actually click and drag your margins by eyeballing it instead of typing it in, the numbers numerically here. So for this left margin, the moment I click on it, I want you to take a look in this lower left-hand corner. It'll change from page 1 of 2 to actually show, when I click, the actual spacing of my margin from the, the left edge of the page. So when I click on it, you can see right now the left margin's at 0.76, so I can drag it over to the right let go, drag it back to the left. So at least this way you can eyeball it and click and drag to see what your margins are going to look like. There's my header section, there's my footer section, so I expanded my header section by clicking and dragging this around. And then I can close back out, and if I need to go back to the defaults, I can always come back to the page layout, click on the margins. And notice, this is kind of cool, it actually saves my last setting, and it's called the custom setting. So if I like it, I can go ahead and apply it to new workbooks, and it'll stay here. And I can apply it to new workbooks. In fact, I don't want that. I want to go back to the normal view. So I click on that. It should take me back to the normal, or what was defined here as normal here. And then I can click my expandable dialog box, go to the margins tab, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Now, if you're like me and you like to customize things a lot, not use the default or the built in options, I mean, first of all, I have to come up here and click on the margins or click on the expandable dialog box button and click on margins tab. Why not use the quick access toolbar instead? What I'm going to do is click Cancel. I'm going to click on the uh, Margins arrow, come down here and right click on Custom Margins, and I'm going to left click on adding that to the Quick Access Toolbar. Now I could come up here on the button and right click and add that to the Quick Access Toolbar, but I'm getting two distinct things as you can tell by the little icons up here. When I click on the Margins, it gives me the drop down. But when I click on the button here that looks like a green orb, I actually get the Custom Margins pop up. So that way it only takes me one click to bring it up. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.